Hey guys, so today I'll be going over um, some basics on how to create a Solidity D app or Ethereum D app. Um, it's a pretty good tutorial because it goes over a lot of the basic tools that would probably be pretty difficult for a beginner to configure. Um, such as some common questions are, how do I create a Solidity contract? How do I test a contract locally? How do I create, like, is there a local test network I can use to test my, to deploy my contract to and actually run it? Um, do, like, can I use a wallet to like MetaMask in order to actually run with the front end? And how do I even create a front end um, to interact with the back end code? To create like an actual real app and not just side code. So this Truffle box over here, which Truffle is a Solidity suite that helps you test your code. Um, and Truffle boxes are pretty much like connections to get to GitHub code, which you can load the project and run them. Um, they're out of the box. Um, so they're just pretty nice to like just get really started, and then you can like adjust the tutorial code to meet your, to meet your own needs instead of setting up all the configuration yourself. So this is the um, tutorial page for the Pet Shop tutorial, and you'll have to install Truffle, which is um, an npm library, and you'll need Node and, M Node and npm and Git in order to run it. Um, and then you can pretty much it's pretty much a Git clone, the Truffle Unbox, more or less. Uh, but you like you create a new directory, you go into it, and you do truffle unbox, and that's basically what I did here. Um, I did make directory, um, go into it, and do truffle unbox. After all this stuff, unbox successful. Um, this directory constructor here gives you contracts, um, which is your Solidity contracts migrations, which will deploy your um, Solidity contracts to the um, Ethereum network. Your test folder, which has test code, um, and this is like truffle configuration file. Um, I have the code opened here. Um, so, contracts, migrations, your, uh, this is your front end code, and your test code. Okay, so out of the box, this contract uh, or this project isn't complete, so you have to add some code. So, I already added it for you, um, but over here, it says create this adoption soft contracts. So your contracts folder comes with this migrations contract, but this adoption is something you have to create yourself. So it's a contract adoption. Um, it has this uh, like list of 16 addresses for adopters, um, just an array of 16 data items, uh, which I added over here. And I get to add two functions. To add, it says add this adopt function, um, which pretty much like whenever you make a transaction, you have an address, um, and then it pretty much sets your address to um, the array value. So each so the website has sixteen paths, and pretty much it'll consider you an adopter if like your address matches one of the addresses inside the list of sixteen. That's how the adopt function works. And the last one, um, it's sort of a convenience method, um, but it's get adopters, and it pretty much um, has this public view and it'll return like all 16 elements of this um, array of addresses. So that's the adoption contract. So you have to compile the code. So I'm gonna do truffle compile. And honestly, setting up a Solidity compiler um, yourself is a little tedious. So it's kind of nice that truffle just, when you install truffle, you get this Solidity compiler that comes with it. Um, I'll let that go and I'll just move on a little bit. It'll look something like this. Compiling adoption dos contract and migrations dos soul. Okay, migration files. So after you compile your contracts, what do you do with them? You have to deploy them to a server, like a test network. Um, so that's what this does. In your migrations folder, you go, um, all the code is pretty much similar. There's artifacts that require a line, which you specify your contract name, and then you, you deploy um, the contract with the deploy function. They tell you to create the second file to deploy contracts, um, and then there's artifacts that require adoption, and then deploy adoption. So that's enough for your um, second migration file. And I'm going. I went back to the truffle compile command that we just ran, and it did complete. I did compile adoption.sol and migrations.sol, um, and that was that worked. Okay, for the next step, you have to use Gansh, which is your no, your your test network. Um, so I already have Gansh loaded, but if you don't have it, you can download it here at trufflesuite.gansh, and I have it at Mac, so I just did this. So after you install it, um, you can do this quick start. 
selection. So this will pretty much load 10 accounts um, with 100 Ethereum each. Um, but it's not a real Ethereum, so don't, don't like, don't, don't go like spending it. Like, or don't try, don't go try making real money off it. But make 10 accounts that lets you like um, test stuff. So what that loads, you're gonna run Truffle Migrates. Um, and yeah, so here are the 10 accounts, they each have a 100 Ethereum. And now you can do Truffle Migrates, which will migrate your contracts. Um, and in the tutorial, they mentioned that there's currently zero blocks right here. And then when you migrate, it'll change the four. Um, but this will very much put your migrations also or adoption also on the um, network. It said deploying migrations and deploying adoption. And then this is the total cost. And you see here that current block is now four. And then your balance has decreased from 100 to 99.99 because the point is like cost gas. Okay. So I'm going to skip over this section, but it's pretty much how to test the smart contracts locally. And so you can like test it with IR Solidity code or JavaScript code. And you put it inside um, this test folder right here. Um, and then you can expand these sections, but I'm not going to go over it because um, it's a little straightforward. Uh, and then once you like create those like files, you can do truffle tests and it'll show you that you ran your test successfully. Okay, and then now you're going to um, add some JavaScript code to your front end. So there's all front end code that comes already out of the box, some CSS, some JavaScript. Um, but in this um, tutorial, like they pretty much have some comments um, inside your app.js file, and you have to copy paste the code into those um, sections. And then there's four sections that you have to copy paste. So inside the init, init web three section, which is um, right here, you have to like I pasted this code here, and what that pretty much does is that it connects. Um, it says use web three, and then it connects to um, your local host seven five four five, which is what your um, Gantt test network, like this test network over here, is connected to. Um, you can see it right here, um, local host seven four seven five four five. Okay. And then next, there's the second part here, which I'll go to. So inside this init contract, this is pretty much where you're just loading the contract adoption. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what that's doing. And then next, there's this section over here, which I'll go to um, inside the mark adopted. And this will pretty much set the address. Uh, well, let's do a couple things. So as a reminder, in our adoption.soul contract, we have this get adopters method. Um, and this will call the get adopters over here. Um, and then it will loop through the array of addresses. Um, and then like add buttons for like each of them. Okay. And then the last part is right here, uh, raw file, app.js. Okay. The last section will go in this handle adopt. So the handle adopts, we actually call um, the adopt method in our contract. So the adopt method is this, which is pretty much setting the address to your address if you're adopting a pet. Um, so that's what that's doing. Okay, so now you're pretty much ready to actually like start running this app. And you have to use MetaMask. And MetaMask is um, an Ethereum wallet. Um, thought I had this open, but I guess not. So MetaMask is a Chrome plugin. I think you can also use like an app like, like iPhone or, or Android. Um, but I have this downloaded. There are some screenshots on how to use it. So when I used it, I did, yeah, create a new wallet. Um, you can choose to send data if you want. Um, and then I had to select um, create a new wallet because I didn't have one yet. And then it'll give you this like 12 word um, seed phrase, which is pretty important so like keep for your security reasons. And when you're done, it's like, congrats. Um, and then once that's all loaded, you have this plugin over here. Okay, so what you have to do to connect to it is that you have to do a custom RPC network. Um, this is your Gantt IP address. And then for the chain ID, you have to use 1337. Um, that's not in the tutorial, um, but I had to look that up. Um, like this is an old screenshot over here. Um, but that's pretty much the default for your test network. So I, I just use that to save. Save your, your test network. And then after that, you have to import your accounts. So um, my default account had like zero Ethereum. It's like, I don't know, 
real account maybe, but a zero. Import account is, um, you have to use the private keys of your accounts. So you have 10 accounts here. This is the public key over here. And then the private key is hidden behind the show key. So it says don't use this for public blockchain. Use it for development purposes only. So copy. And then go back here, paste, import. OK, now you can see like this Ethereum should match what's here. So 99.99 and then 99.9907. Um, all right, so that's how to connect to your um, test accounts. And then this is showing you some configuration settings that's already in the, in the, uh, in the project, but there's this light server thing. Um, and then there's this NPM stuff. So for the front end, just do NPM run dev. Do here. It loads relatively quickly. Okay. And then MetaMask starts loading because it's like, hey, you're connected to blockchain. So I'm going to use like this count. And I'm connected. OK. Now I can start adopting. So let me just like, adopt a random one. So I'll adopt here. And then now this costs money. So this will cost like 20 GOI. Um, so this is the amount of theorem that converts to. And I can do confirm. And now this changes to success. And now, like, if you look at the transaction history, um, there's assets, that's how much money you have, and activity, it shows that you adopted and shows you some transaction history. So that's pretty much it for um, this tutorial. Um, a lot of you probably could wonder yourself, but there's, you probably ran to some snags. But hopefully this is um, a nice overview of how you use MetaMask, how you use, like, Truffle, how you use Ganch, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.